Can AI build a racetrack? This is a question I've wondered when playing Zapekist. Of course, I can ask it to give me directions on how to build a track, what features to add, but this isn't quite good enough. To understand what I'm looking for, we need to take a closer look at how Zapekist levels are stored. This is an example of a level I've created in the past, and I understand it looks complicated now, but if we break it down in a bit, it'll all make sense. For now, this top part doesn't matter. What I'm interested in is line four onwards. Each one of these lines represents a piece in-game. Taking a closer look at one of these pieces, the data is stored as following. Piece ID, coordinates, rotation, scaling, color and texture, piece specific features. I'm looking for ChatGBT to create a track giving me each piece already in this format. Before getting started, let's go over the rules for this challenge. ChatGBT must give me each piece in level file format. I'm not allowed to make any modifications to the piece myself in game or in text file, but I am however able to check the level and let ChatGBT know if any pieces need to be adjusted. With that set, let's get started. It's important to note the knowledge cutoff for ChatGBT is September 2021, and at the time, Zapekiss was a very, very small game. So the first thing to do is teach ChatGBT everything there is to know about Zapekiss. To do this, I copy and pasted the About section from Steam and asked ChatGPT if it had any questions about the information it was given. I find this is a good way to make sure it's understanding what it's being taught and I'm able to clarify anything if needed. After some time of answering important questions about Zapekist, such as the Dutch related content, it was time to get more specific with the information it would need when creating a racetrack. I started out by giving an example piece in level file format and explained what each number represented. It seemed to understand this, so I gave it a list of pieces, giving the piece ID, description, dimensions for 40 basic Zapekiss pieces. Again, it seemed to understand the information, so I gave it a pop quiz to see if ChatGPT actually knew what piece ID represented a start and finish from the list I gave. Everything seemed to be going well, so I decided to ask it to create a level. This isn't exactly what I'm looking for, so I reminded it what the desired format is. My ask may have been a bit optimistic, but this gave me a lot of hope. After such a short time, it was able to give me the correct pieces back in the correct format. Now, obviously the level doesn't have 100 pieces. I'm not even sure where it thinks there's 97 other pieces in the track. The number 97 isn't used anywhere, and the track clearly isn't 100 lines long. But still, this is a great start. I wasn't sure what to expect, so I pulled this into the game editor to see what ChatGBT's first level would look like. Okay, this actually isn't too bad. I like the colors it decided to go with, and the pieces somewhat connect. I think the finish and this flat piece should have been in different orders, but this looks like the base for a playable track. We can actually hop in uh, validation here and get a time down. I think this is, this is a playable track. That gave me a lot of hope that ChatGPT just might be able to make a track completely on its own that I only need to copy and paste. From there, I made a training track that I gave to ChatGPT, hoping it would pick up on the coordinates changing and the effect different pieces had on coordinates changing. Again, being a bit too optimistic, I asked it to create a track containing 20 pieces, including a start and finish. This time, ChatGPT gave me the correct number of pieces, but in the process, completely abandoned the file formatting. After reminding it everything we had gone over, twice, I once again asked it to create a level containing 20 pieces, including a start and finish. Again, I got basically the same result, so I kept going over the file formatting and piece ID until eventually it gave me a text file that appeared to have the correct formatting. I was excited to pull this into the game and see what it looked like. Okay, well it, it's a track. There, There's one pretty obvious issue here though. It's clearly lacking decoration. I'm sure it plays fine. It also, it also doesn't have a finish. Okay. I think we can change this though. Jokes aside, the obvious issue being the coordinates were the same for every piece. I told it the pieces were overlapping and asked it to please create a new track where the pieces do not overlap. Is this some sort of joke? What are we even doing here? I guess I did ask it to not overlap the pieces and to its credit, the pieces aren't overlapping but not one of them connect very well. I guess this direction they do, but not how I want them to connect. This was a good lesson about being careful what you ask for. To ChatGPT's credit, it did solve the issue I told it about, 
even if it wasn't the way I would have liked. I spent some more time going over the coordinates and how pieces connect on the grid, and then asked it to create another track from scratch. Okay, this is completely new. Right off the bat, none of the pieces are connected, and there's two finishes. One of the rules we went over was only one finish and one start. At this point, I've spent hours talking to an AI, and I only saw one way to continue forward. That is to start over fully from scratch. I had given ChatGPT so much information, I think it was confused as to what I was looking for and what parts I had given it were even useful. This time, I wasn't wasting any time explaining what Zapkus does. I'm only giving ChatGPT information I determined necessary for creating a level. First, the file format and what numbers in that format represent, then a small subsection of pieces in the game. I'm worried last time the list of pieces I had given were too large, so this is a bare bones list of pieces ChatGPT would need to create the best racetrack Zapekist has ever seen. This time, in order to train ChatGPT, I would ask it to create a track a few pieces at a time, then I would check in game to see what it created. I would let it know its mistakes and ask if it can correct these mistakes, but sometimes I need to correct them for it. I would ask if it understood these corrections I had made until eventually we got to this short but playable track. All right, this isn't too bad. This this actually plays. It flows fairly well. All these pieces connect together. Um, we have enough speed to make it up the hill, even though it decided to change the speed of this booster. All in all, I would say this is playable. By now, I've spent probably 10 hours talking to this AI. That's not even a joke. If you're still watching and enjoy, please leave a like on this video. It took a lot of effort to put together. After all this time, I was ready for ChatGPT to create a level without any input from me. Similar to the training, I would ask ChatGPT to place a few pieces at a time and then would check the track, but as stated in the rules, I wasn't allowed to make any modifications myself. If there were any changes that needed to be made, I would simply tell ChatGPT which piece had an error and it would need to make the change on its own. After 20 or so pieces, I asked ChatGPT if it wanted to continue adding pieces or place the finish and end the track. I can't tell you how relieved I was when it decided to place a finish. This is it. This is the final track that ChatGPT created. We have a little left hand turn, right hand turn, uphill, straight into the finish. So let's hop in and, and just give it a run. So this booster initially was one force, 150 speed, but at some point ChatGPT decided it wanted to lower the speed. So we have a slow start and then a bunch of boosters to get speed for this uphill. Now, I didn't tell it what pieces to continue making, so it just decided at one point, let's hop back to editor, to throw all of these boosters in a line here. I did tell it we need a checkpoint. I will say I told it when we need checkpoints, but I was a little worried when it just kept throwing down boosters and then a turn that it wouldn't work out, but we then got a bit of a hill. It, it actually ended up working out pretty well, in my opinion. Those of you watching with track making experience likely see the major flaw in this track. There's no decoration. So I told ChatGPT the piece ID for trees and told it to place a bunch of trees around the track as decoration. I told it color and scale these trees however it would like. This is perfect. With the decorations out of the way, all I needed was to ask what the author time and name should be for this track. Then I got a couple of my friends, Owl and Lighter, links to them in the description, to test it out in a public lobby to see their reactions. So this is the uh, this is the map that ChatGPT created. Fully by itself, decorated and everything. I just want to get some of you guys' thoughts on it, some first impressions. Um, hold on, you, you had it placed trees oh my as God. well? Yeah, so the decoration, I told it, trees make good decoration just place them randomly scaled throughout the map with different colors and so this is what it gave me oh, oh my god <laughs> yeah did you, so did you teach it how to change the color on the trees um it knows what fields um in the text file indicate color and so i told it to like just change the colors of the trees to whatever it wants mm -hmm. and so I don't think it changed anything because they're all this beige color. I was having a similar issue when I was playing around with the idea of tap GPT. It would make everything beige. Yeah, it 
it knows like which ones color. are color, and I told it to use different colors, but it, it, it just, I think it liked this aesthetic, and I can't blame it. It looks <laughs> great. It's not <laughs> it one really you is. see all the time. But how do you uh, how do you guys like the track? It plays. I mean, it's pretty smooth now. I got a I got a really good line on it. Yeah, you honestly, have seventeen. Honestly, I I hate it less than I thought I would. It's playable. I, well, it so really is. I had a little bit of back and forth. It it never got to the point where I could just be like spit out forty pieces of a track. It was a little mm -hmm. like. Let's do five, and then I would check to see how it looked, and if there, I'd be like, hey, part three is not facing the right way, can you yeah. fix that? So it was a little back and forth, it wasn't fully, uh, like, entirely on its own, but like, I didn't tell it what pieces to put down or where, um, or anything, it was just, this is what it wanted to do, and really my only help was if... It, it was, the main issue was rotating pieces, it really didn't like that. Um, yeah. And then occasionally it would put some a uh, block high for some reason. Oh, that's interesting. But uh, that was really my only feedback. I didn't change anything in editor. This was fully chat GPT. Yeah, I Wait. um. Oh, go ahead. Oh, lately on the news a lot, they've been talking about how uh, AI is potentially gonna overtake humans, and it, it's a threat to humanity. But after seeing this, I have I have hope. I have hope no. that I have hope that humanity I, might be able to overtake and survive AI. I think all the builders in Zapkus should be worried. I think I, uh, <laughs> ChatGPT could pump out some levels much faster, and we may no longer see human-made levels in the game. <laughs> <laughs> if we're seeing stuff like this i also i tried telling it not to put trees on the track it didn't fully understand that i don't think yeah based off of the two trees that are on the track that, that's why i say that I, three I trees that like, are on the track i do <laughs> like it quite a bit though it's, it's it's funny i actually don't hate it like obviously it's not a perfect map and like not no. competitive or anything but it's kind of quirky in its own way. Like, it, this would be weird for a human to actually think of, I feel like. But, like, this is what we have. Dare I, I say, it's, like, it's better than Rocky Start? <laughs> I don't know if I would go that far. <laughs> it's, it's crazy that they put all of those zombies right in a row. Yeah, I also told it to... That was funny, because I just told it to add, like, the next pieces, and then I saw with the piece ID it wasn't changing, and I... I by the end of it, I knew the piece ID of all the pieces, and I was like, right. oh, no, we could be going fast. <laughs> it, it, also, this first <laughs> Omni, initially, it was 150 speed, one force, because I... That's all I told it. I never told it how to change the force or speed, but at some point, it just decided to make it zero speed Omni. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So that was interesting. <laughs> when, I, when, I I first, yeah, when I first saw it, I was like, oh geez. Like what has this thing what has this Drink thing fest. done? Yeah. And then and then when I played it, there's actually like there's actually a clean line that you could take through it. It's it, it not doesn't, bad. It, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't play bad at all actually. It's not bad. Glider oh, with the sixteen eight? I'm really surprised. Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm glad you guys were here, I'm got some reactions man. for it. I think, like I said, I think human builders in this game may be done. Thanks again to Lighter and Owl for jumping in the lobby with me, get some of their reactions, links to them in the description. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.